Here we go. Mark, your debut after five years. You know, it's uh, it's funny. A lot of people, you know, they'll go to like, you know, the, the Vatican or I don't know what is like Mecca and like this religiously, spiritually, emotionally, this is my Mecca with you guys. It's like everything in Vegas. It's just a, we just made a faux Mecca for but you. If you've yeah. been doing the show for five years, you would know that we don't intro the show like that. So thanks a lot, Mark. Hey, welcome back to Show They Don't Tell You. I'm Nikki Limo. Hey, what's up? I'm the can, Iceman. Can, can I, wait, can I, hey, welcome to... The shit that they don't tell you podcast. The, the, That's really the good. shit with, with with what they with the with they don't know shit they tell, don't tell you. you. Shit they don't tell you. Nice. All right. Okay. Good. That was good, Mark. Thank you. I, I, I I've yeah, I've seen two hundred and eighty six of them. Very so good. So I've had a so, lot of practice. Yeah. 286 episodes you have been the mythical creature behind the camera. Some would say an idea. Uh which has been known as Mark. Yeah, I don't uh I mean the, you know everyone we all at one point in our lives we question do we exist yeah yes. are we real yeah no, um no. i think the answer for me would be no right i agree with i agree 100 that. that. percent. i would agree with that that's why we invited you here just to make sure that you were but real? most importantly we, we invited you here to talk about kinky things yes 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 100 percent uh we've known mark now for five years yes. he was uh, like we're the og crew of podcasts this is it and um mark has like been very um you know professional in in, in the settings mm -hmm. until we left the studio yes. and now he divulges lots of kinky things to us so we are going to talk about some fetishes we won't call them weird we'll call them um unique fetishes yeah. that the population do, has do you want me to provide a little context so yes yeah, so, so you know Shit They Don't Tell You was the first podcast that Studio 71 ever launched yes. with these two wonderful people. Cheers um, to us. Big ups. Yeah. And uh, I met them pretty much on the day we recorded episode one. Yes. Yeah. 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 No uh, no phone calls, no Zooms. Nope. Anyway. It was just sort of like, hey, show up. Hey. And what's up, press asshole? Record. Yeah. We're here. They put us in a really tiny closet, <laughs> I remember. They did. It was like oh, a yeah. tiny closet in Beverly Hills. We were the weirdos that wanted to put it on video. Every other podcast was no video. They and thought we were being weird. We brought cameras, our own cameras in, and they were like, you guys are gonna video this like it's a, pod it's a podcast Do you guys know yeah. it's a podcast and we're like yeah yeah no but like people fast are forward everyone's doing that yeah, and as someone who we can always that, yeah i can always see in the future i was like that's the dumbest idea <laughs> i've ever heard you're both idiots mm -hmm. we're not doing that we even brought our own camera guy yeah. aka nate green oh yes, nate brother. hi yeah. nate what's up nate but no yeah we've been doing it for five years now it's crazy yeah, yeah. and mark and so, has been a huge 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 five and a half years scene. Like the That's hugest man behind the scenes. So we yeah. love we love Mark. So we're glad you're here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and they, you know, I met them right uh, post a divorce, and uh, yeah. the reason Nikki brought up the kinky stuff is because uh, I'm uh, been, been recently dating. been back out in the uh, the wild wild west of dating, and uh, it's awful. We always it's like to great. quiz mm -hmm. our single friends yeah. that are in the dating pool because we're like, what's it like right now? It does very much seem like a a war zone <laughs> abyss of. It's weird. I, I, I hesitate to call it awful. It's just <laughs> crazy. Okay. okay. You know, it's not like, it doesn't like beat you down to the point where you don't do anymore. Like, Maybe for some people. What's yeah. the difference between dating now and dating before you were married? Well, I was I was together with someone for a very long time. Amicable split. Totally fine. She's, yeah. She's great. But. Um, They're still friends. Yeah. To date, to date myself as if the wrinkles weren't already dating myself. Uh, yo, some of my last dates were on Craigslist. What? Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's I, scraping the bottom of the freaking deck. If anyone had been murdered, no one knew about it yet. Oh Craigslist was still not only quasi acceptable, fully acceptable dating. Like, it, wow. like everyone did it. That really dates you back. Yeah, yeah. because um, I mean, I looked for my ap first apartments on Craigslist. Like, that was still. Oh, yeah. There was no scam. There wasn't a lot of scams as I much got, as there are now. I got bookcases, uh, a bed. Is Craigslist uh, still around? Yeah. 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 Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got bookcases, a bed. I got a, a, a exercise bike, and I some dates. It's definitely yeah. still like the Kmart of like those things. Oh. Well, I feel like Facebook Marketplace kind of took over. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Craigslist. I mean, I don't know if we would have met without a Craigslist because mm -hmm. the way that I found the sketch group YouTube channel yeah. that I inevitably met Steve through was by answering a Craigslist listing. Yeah. Figure. yeah, it was it was like yeah apartments yeah like I, anything you needed people invited my my friend and I or my roommate at the time like into their apartment single women just 
oh yeah, come on in and grab the bookcase. What? It's up here in my bedroom. Like just strangers off the street with a pickup truck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was uh, the early aughts were a whole different time. <laughs> definitely. Wow. I bought bar stools recently on offer up, but I definitely brought my husband with me. Yeah. Because that was. And they had them outside already. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. 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 You should meet in a neutral, a neutral territory. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's so, get yeah. kinky. Yeah. All right. So, uh, we, you know, we were going over topics and we landed on this one because of uh, some yeah, stories. Yeah. Well, that I mean, we've... we'd been talking and, and like there were some really fun stories about uh, like wh basically how far would you go? Um, have you ever been in a situation where I just like went a little too far and you're like, yeah, I'm out. And, um, there was like one story that one of us told about, you know, rope dump <laughs> <laughs> about on his date I opened a treasure chest full of ropes and she takes care of them. And like, she likes, yeah, and I'll go them. into that. It, it's just funny. It's, it's, uh, because, well, you know, we always want to start out with, we're not yuck and yum here. Mm -hmm. uh, not yuck and yum. I am very not open to things. I think if two consenting adults are doing some uh, some crazy stuff and they're yeah. both into it, great. But not everyone's yum is the same. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I think this is also about a lot of our stories have been like, I was open to something and I very much found out that I, I don't like not, it. I am not into it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> but, I tried it. but we're open. Like, yeah. that's what my mom always said. As long as you try something, like, yeah. she was talking about food, but, you know, I'm sure it applies everywhere. She's um, talking about bodies. Like, as long as you try it, you could, you could not like it, but just try it, you know? And I always kept that mindset where I was like, as soon as I judge something, I'm like, wait, let me just try it first to make sure that I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if we'll get there, but let's also say that there have been stuff that I was like, I'm not going to dig this. And I was very much surprised. I was hmm. like, huh. Uh, That's okay. interesting. Yeah. Okay. We won't get into it, I guess. We, But he's always like, let's, he's like, we'll talk about it later. But I'm like, can you just talk about it right now? Just tell us right now, Mark. Just tell us right now. What do you I think, think I just, like the banana I, up your butt? I literally just closed the window. Isn't mm. that amazing? <laughs> edit that <laughs> out, Mark. Like, yeah, edit, Mark, Mark, edit that, that out. out. Yeah. Like, that was Thank you. weird. That was a weird error. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. All right, uh, so the idea that is Mark now has the window back open. Okay. okay. All right, so 20 bizarre sexual fetish fetishes. Now, some of these- <laughs> Fetish eye. Fe yeah, fetish eye. Some of these we all know, we've heard of. Okay. Some of these are- Do we all know? Yeah, maybe He's not everyone pretty knows. pretty vanilla. No, That's I'm not. That's true. Steve is like- I'm really hardcore. Yeah. Vanilla. <laughs> I, really, I, I think he might not. I, I don't think he- That's maybe. true. Let's find Sh out. Let's just Should make sure. Should we do like a quick five minute birds and the bees just for him? Yeah, absolutely. Like, okay. You want to break it down, Mark? So have I you heard out, of a vagina? I or do, a penis. I'm very familiar. Okay. Yes. All right. He very has heard familiar. that. Well, you know, that's a, that's a bit, that's a good baseline for this. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, okay. We'll so everything we're talking about has to do with that and a penis. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll up the speed. It's when two people love each other very much. I've heard that a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number Not one. Not my parents though. Not always. Oh my god. You now, edit it out, Mark. Your mom listens no, actually, to this. I'm kidding. <laughs> edit that out, Mark. No, leave it in. But don't. <laughs> My mom might be listening to this. I don't know. She is for yeah. sure. Yeah. Podcasts yeah. could be on either heaven or hell, wherever yeah, she, wherever it, she may yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. However she prefers. All right. So this one. Now this one, this one of you might have heard of this one because uh, I, saw, I saw a documentary about this, which was wild. What? It's, and it's always a BBC documentary. They cover Why are you watching BBC documentaries? Shit. BBC America. So well, what, or more often than not. Is this on cable? On where, where is this? BB, you've never heard of BBC? I mean, no, I've heard of it. Oh, I just oh, don't. Oh. Who chooses to go watch it? Oh, I, you know what's funny? I, I take that back. I don't think I've ever watched it on the cable. I have a, I have cable because okay. I'm old, but you can. It's all on YouTube. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, and I'll get into that. So you're in a just second. like skimming the channels, and you just watch this BBC documentary on exactly. On There's this, actually two, and if I fetish. get into the other one, it is remarkable. But okay. it doesn't have to do as well. I see what you it did. Could there. be a sexual fetish. Remarkable. Okay. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> all right. Everyone ready? stopped listening already, and I'm gonna mispronounce all of these. <laughs> the first one. Everyone left. All right, the first one. A, a gal metaphilia. A gal metaphilia. Can we guess what do you? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. A gal metaphilia. Yep. I can't guess a that. A g a l. -M -A. That sounds like a It sounds like galaxy. an algae something. Something to do with algae. Yeah. I I would say that too. I would say some sort of like plant or fungus yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. A gal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, physical attraction to inanimate objects. Oh. Oh, it's like humping the bed or whatever. Okay, so I'm not attracted to inanimate objects, but I have had sex dreams with inanimate objects. Is that weird? Like, I've had dreams where I full on wake up orgasming and I was having sex with a tree. Like, I was. <laughs> Hi, mom. Um, and I'd be like, I'm not attracted to trees. I swear I'm not attracted to trees. <laughs> I'm not attracted. To I don't walk by trees and go trees. out and hump that tree. But in my dream, it was like, I don't know if it was like maybe it wasn't about the tree, but the element of danger and humiliation. 
that like was more kinky. Yeah, I was like, I was naked out on a tree and I was like stuck up high. So it was like, and it just like kind of tickled me. And then I just got really turned on and just like kind of kept rubbing, like just kept rubbing against this tree. And Steve, uh, I the, got there. There's a notebook right here if you want to take notes because there are some nice trees in the backyard that Those, I, I saw earlier. Trees Let's yes. just say it had some pretty yeah. good morning wood. <laughs> uh, I also humped a mop. How do you hump a mop? But oh, like okay. not yeah. with the stick up. No, oh, not with the stick. Just like no, like, dry just like as running if, it like a witch? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So it's funny you should mention that. So in this documentary, <laughs> there were all objects. Like there were, I think there were like 15 or 20. One of them being trees. What? And my first thought was, especially if it's a female. Now, a dude, you're thinking like a knot yeah, or some yeah. sort of hole or something. It's like, okay, but still, unless you really use some sandpaper to smooth that out, that's yeah, dangerous. Yeah, that's a lot. Same goes for female. It's like, so what the woman explained it as, it was essentially dry humping. Yeah, dry humping. Yeah, so yeah, it was pants definitely, on. Like, not like, yeah, if, that would be way too rough if it was, yeah, there was, there was definitely clothes involved. But like, um, you know, just kind of like, it's embarrassing, but like, ooh, it's kind of kinky. I don't know. Okay. I was, it was weird. It's in my dream, and I, I will never forget that dream. I'll you never know, forget that tree. When I saw the redwoods, uh, I went to Muir Muir Woods, uh, north They're of San beautiful. Francisco. Sexy I was, trees. I was something happened down there. It yeah, moved. That's fair. Sexy yeah. trees. I mean, it was a, they were majestic. Yeah. yeah. I always liked a willow tree, but I never wanted to have sex with one. Okay, be yeah. honest. You didn't stick your dick in a couch before. Like a lot of boys have like stories of sticking their dick in a couch that's what or I said. You just, like, in a, a pillow yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, but you're attracted to it. No, I'm not attracted to a tree. It sounds but it like just you felt are. it felt good. Okay. It just the tree knew the, where to hit, like knew where my spots were. This wasn't just me because other people has happened to, but uh, let's just say that someone I know uh, was accused and the name stuck for a long time, uh, nicknamed Skippy, mm. uh, for having sex with a jar of peanut butter. Now it was mm. never it was never ascertained whether it was chunky or smooth, but or, or creamy. But uh, that name stuck for. Probably 15 years. Can I list off items and you be honest if you've humped them before? Sure. Okay. Because if I was a guy, because I've never had a dick, so obviously, like, I, but I think about that, like, because I try to understand, like, be understanding, like, what, you know, American Pie came out when we were younger and he humps an apple pie and I'm like, hmm, yeah, I can understand that, right? Mm -hmm. So, a pumpkin. Never. No. No, no, but I've they're thought expensive. about it. Right, I I've would think about, about it. it. They're expensive, but the gush, like it kind yeah. of like mimics because you could you could two birds with one stone. If you're carving a jack o' lantern, you could just make sure one of the eye holes, yeah, is is a yeah, not yeah. for eyes, yeah. And there's some that's that's right. it's like gooey in there because it's, it's October. It's about to be it's pumpkin yeah. season. Pumpkins basically have natural lubrication, I, and I wonder they're like, like slimy. If, I would fuck pumpkin bread before I would fuck a pumpkin. Really, really? that's yeah. like dry and what? gritty. That's, yeah, it's no, like because it's hot. It's warm. You can, pumpkin but the, is not maybe warm some at all. butter. Would you butter it up first? For sure. If you warmed the pumpkin gish, the gish. What is the gish? The gish that's in there. Oh, like the, the dough. Okay. It's all no, mushy. No, no, that's too slimy for me. Uh, wow, too wet. Yeah, too slimy. Oh, interesting. It's you the viscosity. It's a dry bread. It's the viscosity. It's weird. It's funny you should mention pumpkin because honestly, that might be the closest thing. Like so I've I'm never thinking. felt it up sexually, but I, you yeah, know, you've had to, you have to feel it up when you're carving one. Yeah, and like scooping out the things, like. That is, v it's that's very close, similar, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess I don't really have a lot of objects to talk about, but like I yeah. was, I was thinking pumpkin. I was thinking. Um, How about we just tell you what we fucked? Yeah. Well, you Honestly, guys, are, you guys weren't being honest. I've, when I was little, I probably during some sort of like you know adolescent masturbatory session, probably like sort of humped a couch just because I was on it. Okay, hundred percent. I pumped. A, I humped a couch. Yeah, That's but what I honestly, thought. other than that, hundred percent. I don't have any. I don't have a list. Yeah, it's nothing. I wonder if there's criteria for the people that have this because like all of us have stories of like an inanimate. But I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't classify myself as like thinking. Yeah. About, I don't think about humping inanimate objects, but it just happened to me in a dream. You know. Yeah. Um, and you guys don't think about it, but you've both humped a couch. So like, I wonder if there's criteria <laughs> for like bragging, that being your couch thing. Couch That's kind of cool. And what like they hump? What do they hump? Like, what's so, their yeah. preference? So the trees are one of them. One of the big ones they focused on in this in this documentary was cars. Cars. Automobiles. Oh, I've seen this one. Where yeah. What? I saw a, one of those 
messed up documentary shows where this guy is in love with his freaking red car. Yeah. So he just like rubs his dick on it until he comes. He like yeah. he like fucking soothes it and like caresses it and shit. Yeah, like just touching the upholstery or the inside of the door, the door handle. Like and he like came out to his parents and yeah. he's like in love with his car and like yeah. his dad like was like a disonium and shit. It was it, it was it, one of the funnier it things. It wasn't even seen. a nice car either, what? right? It was, no, it was like, like an old red it was car. Like a mini Cooper. This is or like something. the sexual yeah. version of um, yeah. Oh, we saw the same one. It was a yeah. red car. The yeah, TLC yeah. show where they eat. My Strange Addiction. Where they, That's like, what it was. My Strange Addiction. Oh, Yeah, okay. it was one of those, yeah. But, yeah. but he was also on a specific fetish one. It's the same guy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm sure I that's his, my I'm sure that's his like, full-time gig is just appearing on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get that guy who. <laughs> get the car fucker car. guy. Yeah, car fucker guy. <laughs> Book the car fucker. <laughs> car fucker. <laughs> All right. It's creepy. You have to see it. So yeah. So I mean, it, it would be interesting. And in, like in the comments, I, like we watch, we watch, read them. Like, what are some weird inanimate objects that you that guys you know? Yeah, yeah. You, either what? you do or a friend what? does. Yeah. That's really smart fuck. for engagement, Mark, yeah. and, and it helps um, the algorithm as well. And also, I guess I suppose like a dildo would be an inanimate object, sure. or like a sex doll. Even. Yeah, I guess so. Like a yeah, flashlight and stuff. Technically, but but, but I, I think this is more about they're, like they're so accepted though. This yeah, is like this weird. is more about items in the world. Yeah, yeah. items that you wouldn't think of humping. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm trying to think of other things. It was I think there was like a door, shower uh, wall cabinet. door. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because um, like I definitely can, like can opener. I'm assuming the handle side. I've I heard of uh, mm. girls like like sitting on the washing machine while it's going. I've and heard that, of like, that. But it's not like they're attracted to the washing machine. It's more like the what it feels yeah. like the movement. Those like rides on um, that you put a quarter in, or like they go up and down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I've heard girls like yeah, that. Yeah, I like yeah. yeah I've, I like that. I can get behind that. Yeah, see. Yeah, I've never had an experience like that. It's like I'm I, not attracted start... to the thing. I'm yeah. just like the you don't, you don't feeling. Like, you don't of like it. the little plastic pony. No, very much. I no. feel like I have to start sitting on more things because I've never felt that. Well, it's, like, it's more like a, it's more a girl, Mark, a girl thing. Your balls yeah. will hurt, Mark. It's not for boys. How do you guys know I just have balls? You don't know me. I don't. It's true. That's yeah. fair. All right, okay. ready? What's your second fetish, Mark? This one's okay. This one you might be able to get from the name. <laughs> uh, so easier to pronounce. Macrophiliacs. Oh, large things. Macro, yep. Large mm. philiax, though, this that's, one that's I, people. Large this people? one I have, I have definitely heard about, where people want things to be very large. Yeah. Like, so just big dicks or like, or like so just there, big So there's subtle things. levels. So some of it is like literally, I want to, it's like, a, I want to have sex with like a seven foot tall person. Okay. You know, or I don't know, like a linebacker for a football team. Um, but more so than that, it's typically like some sort of inflatable like, Godzilla, like almost like Godzilla type thing. So usually, hmm. they usually they can't actually ena enact it because it's so large. Because uh, there's no way to. Oh. Like unless they went to like an mm. auto lot and like stole one of those inflatable like gorillas. Yeah. You know, um, there's really no way to do it. But like, I guess like Andre the Giant might have been someone's mm. probably fetish. Like okay, yeah, like that. But uh, but yeah. So typically it's and this was also the documentary. Um, someone was like, it was straight up just King Kong. King Kong oh, wow. was was but yeah. How would you even, it was a he too. It was just a turn on though, because like, how would you actually have sex with that? I, you King know, Kong and, has holes. Well, I guess I was thinking Maybe about like a woman doing it. This oh. huge thumb and forefinger. If he just makes a little bit of a space, <laughs> he said it was a guy. Okay, yeah, a guy wants a guy. to fuck yeah. King Kong. A guy wants to fuck King Kong. Does he want King Kong to fuck him, or does he want to fuck King Kong? You don't know. Is he a top or a bottom? You don't have all the information. If you're a bottom with King Kong, like you're, you're dead. Yeah, yeah that's but gonna that's be true. That guy, so, remember the guy who fucked the horse, but he had the horse fuck him and he died. Yeah, I same wish, with I dolphins. Wish, for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, Web 1.0, I wish I hadn't seen that. That was insane. It was wrong. I didn't watch it, but I heard I about it. I didn't watch it either, but I heard it in the other room. Well, but you know, he went out doing what he loved. He sure did. You know. Bottoming to horses. Exactly. But yeah, no, uh, this one, yeah, they never, this one was a little bit less specific, but also someone got really turned on by, it's funny you should say that, not actually fucking things, but just big things. Hmm. So like, there, I think he went to an, like an amusement, or no, this actually was a she, she went to an amusement park and they had like a, like a bouncy castle uh -huh. and some of the things were like huge, like, yeah. like a, a, you know, and she just got really turned on so wow. she, she remembered this as like a kid okay so i feel like i've had this in a certain way too but like it's more about like like my whole body wrapping around something wrapping you wrap around something like wrapping around something like my whole body like like a bouncy house like that like you know like those like pillars on the side like if if like i flung my body against it and like wrap my legs around it like or something like that I like a that. large thing like it's not like it's going in me it's like it's yeah. just like i'm straddling it because some she's girls, kinky some... as fuck dude isn't yeah. she kinky? i know i'm weird i she's mean kinky, all, a lot of these were just like as a kid and you don't know realize that that's like 
That's like gonna forget. You, well, you're basically Andre the Giant, so like, yeah, I think you might have this. I used she to have like big things as like a kid. Like you know, you don't know what that term is. You just know like that there's like a tickle feeling when you like do certain things. I I I definitely like what the humiliation thing. Like from I would read this one book where they like put their brother in a diaper even though it was like a it was like a bunny family mm. and they like they treated him like a baby and they like made him wear a diaper and stuff and I like got really turned on by that <laughs> as a kid as a kid well yeah like but I didn't great. know what you don't know what to label that you're just like <clears throat> I just wanted to read that part over and over and over again because like and it wasn't silly to me it made me like feel like tickled inside yeah. you like, like humiliation though. yeah exactly that's what I'm yeah. saying that like it kind of like led into that as an adult but sure. I didn't know what it was called as a kid there's a scene in Five Goes West where the cat wraps him in a lettuce and, like a piece of lettuce and like like a burrito and like holds him up and that part turned me on a lot she's told like, me about that so it's funny shit. So having, uh, you know, I've had uh, mutual acquaintances and some friends who are sex workers uh, over the years mm -hmm. and uh, I run in liberal circles and yeah, most of them say like their clients, especially if they're uh, submissive, something happened when they were kids that was supposed to be humiliating, but was like a huge turn yeah. on. And also that was a subplot of Paul Giamatti's character in Billions on Showtime, oh. where the kids wrapped him up in a carpet and like rolled him down a thing or, yeah, or something really... and he got super turned on and that's when he knew and he was like a, he was like 12. Huh. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah like something like that like it was, I don't know it was super turn, turned on yeah. for me and I think honestly if you can figure out someone to do it to you and be into it and be safe like but like I don't go for it we don't incorporate that into sex it's like I don't I don't know, I tried bondage before. It wasn't really, yeah. I didn't really like Pain it. I'm half. kind of a brat. Like, I don't really like to be uncomfortable. Um, if you were to wrap me up <laughs> in a blanket or like a, you know, a burrito or something like that, like, I wouldn't, there's nothing we can do from there. Correct. Just like the yeah. thought of it. And that's why I think it's like a, more of a psychological thing. Like the thought of humiliation is more of a turn oh. on than like actually enacting that thing. Oh, totally. by the way, and, commenter, I know what you're going to, I know what you're going to say. I could do all kinds of shit of Nikki's wrapped up in a blanket. <laughs> yeah, we got it, dude. We got it, dude. We got it. You're you're good. Well, to a lesser extent, some women are really trying to just buy a dude laying on top of them because it's like a feeling of safety. Or she yeah, no, she doesn't so want it. When I was single, well, he's really heavy. After a while, it's just like uh, it's your, I can't breathe. But like, well, that might be the part of the turn on. Okay. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was, that's what I was talking to you about. When I was single, I missed the heaviness of a, of the weight of a guy on me than I did like the sex part like it was more like the yeah. the like sand I was like maybe if a dildo had a sandbag that we like was like a chest like it was like a person uh, like a torso basically torso. like laying on me like I missed that part was like very sensual that was more sensual though less sure. like yeah. lusty more like sensual I feel like if you go to like one of those Halloween stores, they probably have disembodied torsos. And I like, don't need one just, anymore because I got I got the, I got a real yeah. deal one. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. But when I was single, like for a stretch, it was like, damn, I really missed that man weight. Hello. You need a weighted blanket. I got one. Yeah, she she likes it. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, ready? Moving yes. on. Yeah, moving on. All right, this one, uh, apropos, given the season that we just started today, mm -hmm. uh, this is what you probably guessed. This one, spectrophiliacs. <laughs> Oh, ghost shit. Oh. <coughs> now. Turned on by ghosts? This one, so uh, this wasn't on the documentary, but I looked this one up uh, a few moments ago just to see, and I read a quick article about, so I was wondering, I was like, is this something where they watch like a horror movie? Yeah. Or like, you know, specifically with ghosts or Ghostbusters even? Because Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd gets blown by a ghost. Watching that as a kid, I had no idea what was happening. I had happening. no clue what was happening. I had no idea what it, I thought it was cool that his belt was coming off without any I don't, hands I don't on. Think on the 30th rewatch, I was like, oh, when I, was I a must kid, have literally learned what, I, what I, a blowjob was. I remember thinking about how cool it would be if I didn't have to take my belt off, if some, if just like my belt was just coming off on its own. That's how I thought about that scene. And, I was like, three so you were like, that's what makes you so yeah, happy? <laughs> yeah. I was like, that'd be so cool. I don't even have to take I off my belt. I never have to take off it's so, my it's, belt. It was so hard to get a belt buckle off when you're a kid, too. You're like three years old. Apparently, there's a stupid suit. Or whatever. There's some footage on the cutting room floor that's slightly <clears throat> not like that. not like graphic, but a little, a little bit dirty, like heard. a little bit clearer on what's happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you watch Scary Movie? I mean, oh, yeah. the uh, not Scary Movie. The the one Scream. No, no. Scary Movie. It was a, so it was a the spoof. The spoof, right? Yeah. Where the ghosts like 
sec- like comes like she like sticks to the ceiling. Anna Ferris, right? Yeah. 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 She, oh, like, totally. Sticks yeah. to the ceiling. Yeah, she gets like cummed all over to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a what Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street thing, right? Oh, I haven't like, seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh yeah. So instead of a blood thing shooting up, uh, him up against the wall out of bed, it's yeah. Got it. Yeah. It's gentleman's See, gentleman's say. mayonnaise. All right. But yeah, so anyway, I looked it up and the, the specific one I found wasn't so much movies, it was like the idea of a an invisible specter, which I guess makes sense, spectrophilia, mm-hmm. like an invisible entity having their way with you. Yeah. So I guess hmm. like if I and, I and I thought about this, I was like, okay, how can you how can you execute this in real life? Like say you were dating that person and this was a female, like how would you do that? And I'm like, the thing I could think of was like full green bodysuit. Yeah. Do a green screen, and then while it's happening, she could be looking at the monitor <laughs> where nothing is there. Nah. You're thinking about how to key her out and shit, Mark. Nobody thinks like yeah, this. Yeah, you one. have to get a big monitor. <laughs> you have to chroma key. Like, nobody him. thinks like this. Look, if you want to please your woman, you got to chroma key yourself out, and then have and then do things to her. No. Look, I yeah, no, it, it, can like, understand. I think all these people just have good imaginations. <clears throat> like, I think yeah. it's less that, that they want it to happen in real life, or like want their partner to like. Kind of create that, but whereas, like, it's just more the idea of it. Like, the idea that I can't do anything because this thing is invisible and it's having its way with me sure. is like more of the turn on than like trying to make an invisible person happen. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. In, uh, in Manhattan, there's a, it's called the Museum of Sex, and like, they have a lot of like, you know, burlesque and kink stuff, and it's very interesting. Um, if you're in New York, go, go to it. But, uh, Almost all of the fetishes are about power dynamics. Yes. Almost all of them. That's like, exactly so, what I there's think. There's some level it's of like yeah, submitting yourself to something or like you are the one being. Yeah. From, yeah. So the, is, it's, if you can touch on that, that tap on that psychological yep. factor, I think a lot of these kinks kind of run in, into each yep. other. Yeah. We like that one. Yeah. We like, well, we like, I like the one where it's like when you boil it down and it's like, okay, I'm in control and you're not. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. So like, but the weird about this one is like, you have to believe in the afterlife for this to work. Yeah. So well, there's there's like a, there's like a barrier to entry. There. Did you ever? This is me dating myself now. Um, when I was younger, much younger, and I first like, f- like found out about all this stuff, and I was like 14 or whatever. Um, I didn't want to look up porn. I, it wasn't really as accessible back then as it is now. Um, but I found a site called Literatica. Mm, and yeah. it was like you know pornographic stories like literature and stuff and there's all these different categories and i picked nonfiction one time and it was like a an angel like a like an angel comes down and like and like flies you like takes you and like takes you to the heavens and like just like has sex with you in the air and oh, stuff shit. yeah like it's and like <clears throat> that was like okay like i can't do anything i can't go anywhere like this angel's just like having sex with me <laughs> okay. it's funny you should say because i've never thought about this but because it registered at the time but you ever, you ever seen can't hardly wait mm-hmm. of course remember the angel scene with jenna elfman yes where she name? meets uh the yeah. scotty what's his name uh yeah the main um, character yeah uh, yeah the, the happy days of yeah he was also in that uh doing that thing you do yeah but yeah so anyway he thought she was like a a vision like she she didn't think she was real yeah and then of course she it turns out she i think she was, she was like a stripper or exotic yeah. dancer or something but like i don't know whether it was jenna elfman or the angel wings but like that <laughs> did, that did something to me really yeah i don't think i ever i don't think i ever that even like acknowledged that i mean she was right really now. hot in that at, oh, in that scene yeah, for sure that. yeah but she was talking about how she wanted to meet the guy from happy days and like yes yeah in that yeah. scene yeah that was that was like a literal manic pixie dream girl yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely all right, this one there's no way you're gonna you're gonna get. Well, we're gonna get to it when we come back. Oh, you like that nice! Trip? And while we're on break, Sorry. why don't you check out our Patreon, Patreon.com/sticky s t i k k i. We're gonna be doing a double bonus poker free roll because we uh, forgot to do our live stream on Saturday because Mark was here and it's what's Mark's fault, and so that's we're it's blaming totally Mark's fault. Mark. But um, what we never forget is Crypto Corner every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can only get Crypto Corner if you're part of our Patreon, Patreon.com/sticky. It's just five bucks a month. It helps the show. And you get to see the episodes a day early. Get the episodes a day early. And mm. Hey, Mark, remember a- to put the graphic. This is Patreon on the screen. Yeah, yeah that Mark. Helps Mark. Thanks right. a lot. And there's an amazing Discord community below. Oh, them. the best. The very the best. The very best. So, yeah, we will be right back. Back to our kinks. Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. We just want to take a break to tell you to, like, thanks for listening to our podcast. And if you want to rate it, 
that would be really awesome for us. Listen, like, we're on break. We're not talking to you like podcast hosts right now. We're just talking to you like people. As a friend. And we just want to say, please rate the show because it helps out huge amounts. Like, we're not desperate. We're, like, kind of desperate. We're giving shout outs right now to all the people who are giving it ratings. So, huge shout out right now to Brian Jorgensen. That was sick of you, dude. Thank you. God bless. Uh, huge shout out right now to Mark. Mark W. in Springfield, Connecticut. Back to our podcast. Jenny Bly. Hey, back to our podcast. In Tuscany, and Florida. back to our podcast. God bless you. Thank you. Steven. Huge. Thank you for supporting the show. <laughs> All right, and we're back, and we're here to discuss more of our kinky, kinky kinks. Mark, take it away. All right. Uh, this one, tough to tough to guess. Uh, trick, that's either, yeah, trichophiliacs. Trichophiliacs. P-R-I-C-H-O. You're just like getting pranked? Get turned oh, that on could be it. Right? They want to get It might be trichophiliacs. I'm not They want to get goosed. Oh, is it something to do with hearing? No, it actually, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with something being long. They oh. want Oh, they want a long a long vagina vaginal cl- uh, canal. <laughs> no, it's it's strictly labia. It's just outer oh, labia. Oh, long God, outer labia. No, any more guesses or no? No. To hair. Long hair. Oh, really? hair. Oh, like on the head? I would think that would be like follicular, folliculophilia yeah. or something like that. Trico. I don't know. Yeah. I, maybe that's something, some like Latin I know, for long. See, okay. This isn't vanilla. I know that there are people who like under armpit hair for on chicks. Huh. And I, yeah, I don't get it. Hmm. But. Yeah. Well, that's because the patriarchy has brainwashed us to sure. think yeah. that they should be bare when and in thank reality. thank God. And thank God. <laughs> um. But yeah, so what's funny is, so I actually did look up this one because I was interested as well. Uh, yeah. I was like, because like I, I, I find long hair, like I actually kind of like ponytails yeah. or like a little bit, like not long, long, but this is like Rapunzel, like Rapunzel long. long. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. So like, like, like literally to the feet or, okay. or more. If it's past yeah. the back, I think it gets weird. Well, also just the maintenance involved. Yeah. I can't even imagine. It's so heavy. Ends. Like mm. it's yeah. so heavy. Like I just cut six inches off my hair. And it, I feel like 10 pounds lighter. Like my hair was like down to here, which isn't even yeah. that long, but it is long for an over 30 year old person, I think. And um, it's like thick and heavy. And I just like, it's I it drives me insane just having, having long and hair. And she cut it by herself. I did. Check out really? the vlog. Yeah. Yeah, I made a vlog. And my mom used to cut her hair by herself when it was very hot and when she was very sad. And I think Nikki did a much better job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Was it because cool. she wasn't sad? Well, no, she, I would say, Mom, why'd you cut your own hair? Because she's like, I cut it, I cut it, I cut my own hair, I cut it, Steven. <laughs> and I was like, Aw, oh, Sherry. Sorry I asked. Yeah, well, I as someone who's like a healthy sweater, I like a uh, perspirer, yeah. um, like especially when I exercise, like the idea of having that much hair is... It's a lot. It's, it's too much. It's a lot to deal with. Yeah. Also, just every shower yeah. is like, you're in there, for, yeah, like it's forever. You ever, yeah. you ever been fucking and you, you're sweating so much that you just get completely turned off by it? Yes. Yeah, me too. Well, I don't sweat that much, but then the person is sweating. Was it much. me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember no. that. No, no. no I know I've had no, I've had sex with like people that like drip the the sweat uh, dripped onto me yeah. and like that I just yeah. uh, I just can't I can't Honestly, say turned on. You probably just zeroed in on that's probably a fetish. Oh, without a doubt it is. Yeah, when someone I is like, I want someone li- to sweat on me. When I yeah. first lived in Koreatown, I remember it was such a hot day, and I remember watching a bead of my sweat go from my nose to the, to the chick, and I was like, nope, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Well, I it's funny that you, were, that you were out. I checked myself like, out I was definitely out. Like, yeah, I've definitely had that. I told the coaches I wasn't going back and in. And it's not a big deal. It's just, I have a weird thing about bodily fluids. Like, for me, saliva is the biggest one, which is weird because, you know, like, oral sex is, I like, I enjoy oral sex. But, like, if it's too much saliva or drool, I can't think about anything else. Yeah. And, and she it starts really adjusting too much, and then I'm like, out oh, this it. bitch is like, out. Nah, there's, like, too much drool going on yeah. down there. So did you get your drooling problem surgically fixed? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, what I do is I I make sure just I dehydrate. eat bread. I eat bread before. <laughs> you just have you have a ball of bread. I like yeah. it to be tucked in I like inside. sticky tongues. So, just some just really balls. sticky tongues yeah, down yeah. there. Just a sticky tongue. Yeah. Like a really uh, like just tacky tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'd be amazing mm-hmm. if you ever say just a, a cotton ball fell out. It was like oh god. And Nikki's like, what is that? It's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So I don't mind. I like it's fine to be wet, but just not like drooling at like where it's yeah. starting to like yeah. go down my butt crack or whatever. Yeah, I like my blowjobs on the drier side as well. I will say a couple. Shared a story once where they both went jogging, 
and came back and they were so turned on from something. Not, well, not necessarily the from, yeah. from physical there activity. Actually, that's one of the things that they say to do when you're first dating someone because it actually, there's a chemical that releases a pheromone. Yeah. A pheromone releases in your sweat glands and when you do physical activity together, it's like a big I yeah. believe turn that. on. Yeah. I, believe that. I mean, they, they said the hardest thing about it was like the slippery slidey stuff, but mm-hmm. like they said it was one of the hottest times okay. they've ever done it. Yeah. Hmm. This one's easy to easy to guess. Kleptolania. So stealing something? Yep. They tr- get turned on by stealing. Are you stealing orgasms? I, you, like Stealing uh, my heart. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, this article has a has a Jane's addiction pun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's skip that one. But yeah, uh, I don't, you know, I'm one of the, I play by the rules so much in yeah. life. I, I, like, I'll, I'll strategically sometimes break the rules, but like the idea of stealing, if someone said to me, like, let's steal that pack of gum, and then like we can do stuff like out in the car. I wouldn't be able to do. It. I'd be like, we're done. Me too. I can't, I can't even cut it. lines. I can't yeah. even cut lines. Yeah. You know when when we were with our friend, I won't say who, we were like coming out of uh, we were going to Mexico, and our friend like made us cut a line, and we didn't want to, and I felt horrible, and I wanted to go up to every single person that we were we were cutting, and I wanted to shake their hand and say, this is not who I am. I'm so sorry. But my friend was just so like she was so enraged about what had happened on the flight or whatever. And she was not, we weren't going to lose her, and she was our ride. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I have to cut a line. I think about that, by the way, once a week about oh how gosh. bad I felt about that. And since I'm not the one leading it, I didn't feel bad about it. I was like, not me. Sorry, guys. Like, Ugh. not me. <laughs> I feel terrible. I'm like, yeah. VIP. Oh, sorry. I can't I'm too help guilty. It. I'm too Catholic. I can't. Yeah. Do you I know can't. how bad I am? I get like sometimes free stuff from Amazon and I send it back. What the heck? I'm like, this Mark? wasn't. That's pretty One time nuts. they even told me to keep it, and I'm just like, I don't want it. And I still have it. It's it's a doc, it's a it. Doctor it to Who me. like little like give it to a goodwill give it place to me. like like phone booth. <laughs> what the heck? Well, okay, so again, psychologically, like I don't know if I've never been turned on by stealing, but it's maybe the, be, it's the rush, the taboo yeah. of mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I think it's more the taboo that like, ooh, I'm not supposed to do that. It, it's the rush of. It's probably in the same realm as like having sex in public. That like, I get it's turned, like the fear yeah, of getting see? caught. Yeah. That's like endorphins. Yep. Taboo shit. Taboo shit. Yeah. I get turned on by oh, we've that. We've heard taboo out of 200 A6 episodes, mm-hmm. you've mentioned that so many times. And I'm like, for the love of God, Steve, still take hasn't care done it. of that. I will not do it. Take care now we're going to Vegas. It's much easier. But see, I'm a guilty person. See, there it is. Boom. It all comes full circle. You're a boring person. But you live right near a <laughs> desert with, like, you could do it with no Let's one within the 30 square miles. Yeah. You want to go in the mountains? Yeah, yeah. actually. Well, now that it cooled down, we probably could. Yeah, I would love to, d- to do it in the mountains okay, with fine. you. We'll do it in the mountains. And, and Nikki the could find a hot tree that she's attracted to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's really like what it Joshua is. Tree. I just want to look at the trees. She could get double teamed by me in the tree. Yeah. And your succulent fetish. Don't tease me. You can find a cacti. A cactus, Don't tease me, Green. All right. This one's, this one, like... I don't know. I feel like this one's just vanity, but uh, let's see if you can get this like one. a mirror. Ca- yeah, cata- <laughs> catapictrinophilia. Catapictrinophilia. Uh, catapictrinophilia. Okay, that's probably how it's pronounced. Yeah, so fetish like for yourself. mirrors. Yeah, you like to look at yourself. No, this one's interesting though. This one is. It's not so much looking. It's uh, full on masturbating or or specifically it's the American psycho thing. Specifically having orgies, so like you can. I guess I guess or the orgy being like there's more to look at, like huh. it's rather than just two people. Yeah, I mean, masturbating is weird. I wouldn't, okay, I think it's hot to, like, watch that, like, you know, watch, I wouldn't watch, uh, like, I've never videotaped us or anything, but, like, there's been a couple times in, like, a hotel where there's, like, a mirror there, and, like, I look up really quick, and it's, like, you know, you never really get to see that view of yourself, yeah. Um, and it's, like, oh, that's pretty hot, that's me getting... <laughs> Getting, I don't know whose parents are listening to this. Getting hey, hey, all parents turn this off. Look but that's, at me, like, that's r- me getting r- railed. Like, <laughs> what a slut. Like, yeah. what a slut that girl is. Yeah. And like, I just, uh, yeah, it, it definitely turns me on more like to like watch that. Like, oh, like, oh, I'm, that's me. Like, but, like, I, it takes you out of it. It's like we were watching some, uh, someone hey, else. The but, first time that me and her had sex, I remember being like, holy shit, like, Nikki Limo sucking my dick. That's kind of crazy. She, he said it out loud. I did say it out loud. <laughs> He said that out loud. I was like, I'm, I'm not pretending to so hear riff. that. I have so much riff. I was like, so nerdy. <laughs> I was like, I'm it was, that, it was wild because I had known her for so long and we were, it was yeah, such we a were weird friends, thing. Yeah, it was it's like you, up, Steve Green, and I was Dickie Limo. Yeah. That's adorable. Thank you. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> That's adorable. I was like, it was very odd. I was See, like, have you thought of this before? I was like, like this chick's on celebrity birthdays and she's blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I messed around once and all I could think of 
in front of a camera and all I could think of was like who let Sasquatch in like oh. what is happening it was not yeah so good for I was you always well, if you can lock up, up and be turned I on by it I think it's about like, the angle I tip my hat so like that's all true. parents no. are listening lighting. the lighting parents is important parents have their, their earmuffs on right parents are earmuffs yeah. so doggy style like looking in the mirror at him over me you know like that is I think it's okay. super pretty sexy yeah, and she's like humiliation remember so she's seeing herself be very very bad yeah very, being true. very bad I normally bad. don't see normally that she's not happen. doing that like Mark. i i can pretend it didn't happen or whatever like or you know after we're done i'm like nah, i'm not that slutty but then uh, watching yeah. i'm like oh she's oh, shit, actually, she's a hoe she's pretty bad. and if he's oh, wearing his like his, like, his like tree halloween you know like oh yeah, the yeah. Costume. yeah. The, glow, oh. the glow suit yeah, yeah. Forget about it. i mean i married him because uh, the last name green close enough to a tree that there big tall oak mm. mm-hmm. yeah all right this one this one is a little weird but a basiophiliac or a basiophiliac. A basiophiliac? Yeah, A B A S I O. Like you're attracted to basic people? <laughs> well, I well, am. No, yeah, but I same. Yeah. yeah. This one's a little this one's a little creepy. No, I I, I take that back. It's not creepy. I don't want to yuck anyone's young. Uh you're into leg braces or orthopedic appliances. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Which honestly, you know, now I think about it, never mind, because orthopedic appliance could be that could be a a sort of bondage type thing. Like, I get it's know. like it's controlling your yeah. part of your limb or whatever. Oh, you want it to be on you, not like the people <laughs> that have it on them. No, no, it can be it can be the other person too. Oh, okay. I think it's or you both wear it. Yeah, I think it's also there might be like a bionic human aspect to it. Like, uh huh. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Like, that it's like be. a robotic thing. Yeah. For some reason, this article brings up Forrest Gump, and I'm just going to not talk <laughs> about that. Yeah. All right. This next one, um, I don't want anyone want to say it. And I didn't even realize this was the name for it, but uh, it has to do with poo, and we're not going to talk about it. No, okay. No. Yeah, no poo, no. Yeah, we- uh, Two girls, one cup kind of shit? The one thing we'll draw the line on is the spread of disease or plague. Yeah, and, I'm good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know that they're, like, I've known of that fetish where people shit on people's chests or whatever. Like, that's, like, a thing, but I, I cannot, for the life of me, understand that one. No. Well, also, so much about sex is, like, it's, like, smell is such a strong sensation, yes. and the idea of bringing that into no. it, like- <clears throat> All right, so this one's interesting. Um, Tripsolaniac. Tripsolaniac. Yeah, T-R-I-P-S-O-L-A. I don't know. No this clue. one, honestly, you probably have this one too. Aroused by having your hair shampooed. Oh, I mean, I like the tingly feeling, but I don't get aroused. I just mm. like like that my brain shuts off. Yeah. The only reason I say it because I went to we went to one of those like uh, Max and I couples massages yeah. and they did a specific yeah. hair thing with some sort of like special mineral oil and like yeah was, that was nice yeah no it's nice yeah. I don't know if it was super sexually arousing but it was amazing that's what I'm saying yeah, it's yeah. like it definitely feels like really relaxing and good and and tingly all over but like not oh, sexual on the plus side imagine if you just went and got your your hair done. And every time you were just like, you come, yeah, baby, that'd be sick, man. That'd that, be sick. Or would hairdresser must get balls. a huge tip. You get blue ball from it. That's true. Yeah. What, what when you were dating that chick who's like into bondage, and you're like, I think I'm into bondage. So you know, there's 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 power dynamics which are fun, mm-hmm. and then it, like, it, but it can veer off into a little bit more aggressive, which is where like my personal, uh, my, my interest ended. Yeah. But the other side of that is that someone who's super into it, and this is this is a true of a lot of communities, it's like what you see that's the cool part or the interesting part, you don't realize that there's hours upon hours of prep or like maintenance that goes into it. And in this specific case, um, someone got like very open about it and um, <laughs> before anything really serious happened, showed me like a, a trunk of like ropes mm-hmm. and she started telling me about the maintenance required and so like you have to like oil them uh, to keep <coughs> them soft because in height Thank you. Um, you have to oil them to keep them soft you have to like there's a specific way to cut them and measure them and then there's different types measure. for different applications so some are really like nylon are really good for something cotton are good for that others makes sense to me hemp is good for something okay and then on top of that then there's the the true rope bondage people where it has nothing to do with sex and it is just the the actual knots like oh. the like ha, like the super uh detailed um complex Not ways of, of of having two things like tie together with like huh. it is wild it's obviously it's very big in, in japanese culture um there's names for it which are, are escaping me now but like that stuff it's like if, if, if for me per, and this is just me if a fetish requires homework or like 10,000 hours of practice, I'm like. That's just hmm. a hobby. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But you can feel passionate about something also, without how, being a turn on. How long can you maintain an erection for if you got to do like 45 minutes of knots and stuff like that? So that's what I don't know. I, that's why I think some of these don't actually involve finishing. I think some of them might just be like a... You're just really turned on by it. I'm out, yeah. I'm out on it. And so then maybe you have to like do the finishing later, but it's like the act of it is just amazing. Like I And I, and I have, you know, the it's funny, there's an erotic museum that we drove mm -hmm. by here in Las Vegas. Um, I've been to like a burlesque museum and I've been to a couple sex museums and like they have obviously bondage is a huge part of it. Some of them like... You look at the knots, you're like, or the way people like are they're hanging or yeah, just crazy stuff. And you're like, that had to take Forever. at least two hours. Whoa! And I'm like, that person has to be hydrated so they don't get cramps. Yeah, like they have to stretch. Do good blood flow. Yeah, like it is. Yeah, exactly. Also, blood flow. It's it's just it's very uh, it's very technical. <clears throat> yeah. And I seems like you need seems a like a lot of work. Medical team on yeah. That. A lot of planning, a lot of work. Hmm. Yeah, not for me. It's like when I was doing stunts in a movie and they had to have like the sheriff's department there because it was going to set me on fire. It's like, yeah, you you that's a lot of prep work. Well, and and I will say this for anyone in, interested in some of these, especially the bondage stuff, uh, you know, that's why people are very careful about safe words, about uh, yeah. like, and even if something is obviously you can't speak, there's other ways to communicate and all that stuff. Like, that's why it's like you only do that stuff with someone you really, really trust. Yeah. Because, um, and so safety is a huge part of it and everyone will tell you that, but Honestly, for me, it's like just, it just seems like so much work. Yeah. Yeah. It's exhausting. But hey, good for you. Yeah. No, no, no yucking yuck the yums out yeah. there. Yeah. Just not for us. Yeah. I definitely like think in theory <laughs> it's hot, but then like the actual practice of it, I'm like, yeah, that's too much work. If I, I could, per, off. you know, hecto patronum fucking Mickey yeah. and ropes, then yeah. 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 A hundred percent. You know, and then do the, the same thing to get her out of them. But, yeah. other, but otherwise, yeah. I got to like be like, I got to look at the instructions and it's like Ikea furniture and. Well, someone once said once that, so they were in that community and they said that they dated someone and so the the shortcut in that world is bondage tape. It's mm. that kind of like sticky yeah. and, and conceivably if you don't put enough, like uh, if you don't do it rapid enough times, you can break it pretty easily. I like yeah. it. Yeah. It's like a shark tank idea. S yeah. Disposable, super fast, no maintenance. Yeah. But like really real good. rope, <laughs> real hey, bondage sharks, people. Hey sharks, you ever try to use real rope to tie your wife up? <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying. They it's get so tangled. Annoying. There's a lot of knots you have to deal with. And, and they not take to the, mention rope burn. And then, uh. they, uh, and then, and then they take the the sample with all the knots and they throw it behind them. Yeah, yeah. And like Mark Cuban's like, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be amazing if he came out behind Mr. Wonderful and he's like, this is our lavender scented version and just started tying him up. Like <laughs> Barbara's like, I like real authentic ropes. And for yeah. that reason, I I'm say out. no. I'm, I'm out. out. She's like, I just think that tape should be used um, for commercial things. <laughs> and then and, and, and I'm just like, that. for that reason, I'm out. Yeah. And the guy's like, I've been three minutes in my presentation. You don't, you don't even know what's yeah. going to happen. Mark Cuban would be like, we're going to package this with my tequila. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. He's uh, like, hey, hey, Mark, I made, um, it's, I have some Mavericks tape for you. <laughs> That's true. Oh, they my God. They always do the same shit the every branding time. Branding deal? They yeah. always do the same shit. Because, yeah, it's usually pretty thick, so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So again, uh, whatever you're into, just be safe. All right. Uh, this one's interesting. Axolism. Axolism. Oh, this one actually you might be able to get by guessing like an axel a product. Oh, like axe body spray. Yeah. So w <laughs> what part of the body do you use it on? Oh no, armpit stuff. Oh yeah. Well, see, there's that's where a pheromone gland is. Mm -hmm. So like, if you are turned on by people's like natural pheromones, like that would be a thing for you. How yeah. about we wrap this up by talking about what we do like? Because I feel like we've been doing a lot of yucking. What? Yeah. I, well, like, I humped so a tree. Yeah, you uh, humped a tree. I've, I've, I've been pretty open to like- we haven't heard from, from Mr. Kinky, Mr. Mr. Five, Mr. I've, Wonderful I've like pretty been... So right now dating people, and this is a good thing, people are very honest. Yeah. And what's nice is they're typically honest by like the second or third date. And so like then you can make your decision. And like some people are freaked out by that. And I'm like, no, I'd rather know early on so yeah. we could like see if we're on the same I'm page into, yeah 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 i don't want you i don't want to waste like a month for you to tell me like oh by the way i love like daisies in in my no nostrils and i was like all right yeah i think again, i guess i could do that yeah like a lot of this is because it can all be uh, boiled down to psychological factors yes. um i'm too lazy to actually do <laughs> the full version of the things correct but like, um, I definitely fall into the submissive realm of kinks where like, as long as I don't feel like I'm in, I know that I, if I'm, I'm in control, if I say a safe word, right? Yeah, like yeah. ultimately I'm in control, but like, as long as I can like let go and feel like I'm being completely dominated in some whatever capacity, you have creative freedom to make me feel that way without putting in a lot of work 
with that. Like, yeah. so, I mean, and I think that's just because I have to make too many decisions in normal life. I'm in control. I'm a control freak. I'm like in control of everything and I'm too perfectionistic about things. And so in bed, it's just like nice, like, no, can't. Sorry. You're not allowed to. Yeah. And it's so, like, oh shit, I can't. Oh my shit. God, I can't. That's so crazy. So many, most of, uh, again, I'm like uh, this, cause, cause I think BSM stuff is probably one of the more common ones yeah. that, that, especially in sex worker stuff that people do is like, so many subs are very powerful, confident people. Yes. Whether they be male or female mm-hmm. in their life. And so it's a release to just let that go. That's why you hear a lot of like CEOs yeah. Yeah. G- with yep. dominatrix people. Yeah. Yeah. Was it you who's telling Wait, who's just telling me that like they know a sex worker who like pegged half of a fire department? So yeah, we won't tell, we won't say which fire department, but no, we will not. so yeah, so that mm-hmm. and that one I think is I think pegging is a very much that power dynamic shifting because yeah. you're not penetrating, you're being penetrated. Yes. So I think I think straight up and like, you know, it's interesting. A lot of the people getting pegged claim that they it was just that that they liked and yeah. nothing else that w- m- you might uh, you know include with that type of fetish, like sexual orientation, exactly, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. They it's were like, just no, it was like just that the power dynamic of that. There's like yep. nowhere to go. And it, may, and it yeah. kind of makes sense also. But with your butt. Uh, yeah, I haven't fooled around down there with that stuff, but there are a lot of nerves around the butt. Yeah. So like, it, there's also just, it's just a pleasure center. It can or it can be. Yeah, sometimes when guys are getting a prostate exam, they get a boner when they, the person sticks their fingers up the butt. Never happened to me. Yeah, uh, it, well, it, we'll, we'll, we'll know, we'll never straight. know. I'm we'll too straight. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm way has, too straight. It, well, it's not arousal, <laughs> but it's the same feeling as arousal, <clears> which is bizarre. Like, so like literally like right when you're about to, finish there's like a specific sensation deep Mm -hmm. right in that center in your abdomen and it was recreated but there was no pleasure associated with it sneezing is like a microcosm of an orgasm like it's like a yeah like a one sixteenth of an orgasm feeling yeah but the weird part was it was such a clinical atmosphere with and it happened to be a gentleman doctor and so like it didn't for me it didn't do anything so it was like it was weird it was the exact same sensation but no pleasure associated yeah. with it. Yeah. So it was very bizarre. My brain was like, I don't know what to do here. Like don't, usually usually that means good things are happening. But don't you think that like if half of a fire department's getting pegged and pegged and pegged, that could impact job performance? Like we could actually Yeah, have... that'd be more relaxed. Oh, you think so? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, don't Fair, they... pheromone release is great. But can't, don't you walk funny if you got your butt used? That's no. what lube's for. Okay. No. Also, okay. you know, the <clears> nice <throat> thing about pegging is like you have total control over the size. Yeah, yeah. There you can choose a big one. You, you can, can't yeah, handle you can a little baby peg. Like, what yeah. can you handle, a big fireman? <laughs> <laughs> That's motivational. Thank I like you. that. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. but I don't. As far as like, uh, well, so yeah. Do you have any specific ones before I volunteer? Oh, I think I'm pretty open about it constantly. Yeah. That's why I wanted to get to you. But um, yeah, no, yeah. I like to be in charge of this dummy right here, and um. He, threw me, he sent me to the emergency room, threw me into a ninth now. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a... Well, it's funny you should say that because like, I, so I, you know, I always like to, it's not not so much a dominant thing, but definitely take control. Like, it's like, it's like, let's do this. Yeah. And like, you know, I'm definitely not the other way around. The being submissive is just not a, not a thing I, not I enjoy. Because yeah. I'm, I'm fairly easygoing in real life. So like, I want to, yeah. I want to subvert it that a little bit. It also pisses me off, honestly, because I'm like, wait, this is not what I signed up for. What the fuck are you trying to do? Like I had someone try to do that to me one time and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? No, don't do this shit. Yeah, I had a boyfriend who wanted me to be dominating and it was such a big turn off. Like, I just didn't like it at all. It was like I had to work again. Like I, it was like going to work. Like I had to go to work. Like, and I'm just like, I just want to turn my brain off. Like I literally like, I, I like want to be, I want my brain to be fucked off. Yeah. Like, like where like I'm just getting yep. railed so hard that my brain turns off. <laughs> yeah. And then also, you know, it, it was funny because one thing, one person I dated and it was, there was a lot of work involved. It was, it was the same person, but like a lot of like, pre, you know, a lot of foreplay, a lot of stuff. Sometimes you need to leave for a dinner reservation and like, sometimes you just got to like, s- just get into it's it. Like, and like, you know, so that it's like as much as all those things are great and you should explore everything because we're only on this freaking earth once. Sometimes, man, that like 12 minute start to finish thing or less is like. Just it because it's all about the stuff that flows through your body, the hormones, the the endorphins. Yeah, I also enjoy going to the dinner reservation, knowing um, yep what we just did. Yep, what we just did a naughty thing, and that's fun. I like that. I have remnants of it 
Yeah. So, sec- so secrets are your fetish. Secret thing. Yeah. Yeah. Remnants. Yeah. I have remnants. Yeah. remnants. I just, I just got that. I was yeah. like, remnants. Oh, and nobody okay. knows. Nobody know. knows. Know. Nobody at the restaurant knows. Yeah. I look like a regular person that yep. didn't do nothing naughty. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, like, I'll, 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 all I'll say mm-hmm. is this to, to clarify everything is like, I think everyone should be explore that stuff. Definitely. Like if they can, especially if they can do it with someone they trust and someone they're like, they have feelings for like, Oh, don't hold anything back because like we get very sheltery. Yes, it's yes. Yeah, and we get very sheltery as a culture, and I hope that people, more people, feel comfortable to not do that. Yeah, I everyone everyone has sex. None of us would be here if our parents didn't have sex. Like everyone is grossed out by their parents. I get that. Me too. But like to a certain extent, it's like. We all we all know it's sort of like you know going to the bathroom. We all know everyone does it. We yeah. just don't necessarily want to think Talk about, about it. it. Yeah. But like ultimately, the, the it, that is a separate category. Like with sex, it's like it's a healthy thing. It it forms bonds. Yeah. Like it's it's actually good for your body. It That's is. Why, you know what? Yeah. My parents fucking does not gross me out at all. It's the opposite. I wish I was like uh, I, I like I hope my parents are fucking because that means that they're happy. Like, yeah. I, I really think that. I also think if more people were like, if it was mm. more open or taught like you know acceptance and, yeah. and taught like that that like there probably would be a lot more happy couples that like weren't settling because oh, totally. like i think that a lot of it's like well sex isn't part of like the main part of our relationship but it's like well it's a big part actually so like if you are incompatible in the bedroom or like you just don't you get turned off massively turned off by each other but everything else is good i just don't I think maybe you guys are supposed to be business partners. Like yeah. maybe not a relationship, maybe not like a yeah. romantic forever there's a distance legally that, relationship. There's a distance that kind of happens when you haven't had sex in a while that like completely goes away when whatever we do, that's like, and it's like we always say afterward, like I feel very connected yeah. to you and stuff. And I think that's so great. Like I wish that. The intimacy is very bonding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I hope, yeah, I hope that people will normalize sex stuff more. I don't even like to say normalized very often because like sometimes people say that too much. They but overuse it, yeah. They overuse it. But yeah, I, I really do think that this is one of those things that should be just normal. Well, yeah, because like even me talking about um, turn ons and stuff, like I'm trying so hard not to be like graphic. Yeah. But yeah. like, you but know, you want to be honest. Like I want to, you know, be kind of like, Exactly, and like say that it's it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be stigma. It shouldn't be stigmatized. No, exactly. Is the thing. I yeah, I agree. I, I had a pretty uh, detailed conversation with some friends once, and they were very interested in it because it was the first time they ever really thought about something. And they went home and tried it, and like again, like they told me they were they were very honest about it. They're like it was amazing. Like, would you have? They're like, <laughs> uh, so it was ar- mostly armpit stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's a lot it, of it, the, like those boy, when boys would like nick that. <laughs> yeah, the armpit parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like ch- that. Chicken yeah. parts. And then and the girl's yeah. like, oh, like, oh my God. Okay. Mark was right. <laughs> yeah. This one happened to be role playing, uh, pa- again, pirate dynamics, but role playing with, uh, it was a detective and a spy, like a spy. Love two, it. It, was like, it was actually two spies and like, it was. Two, the, oh, they're both spies. They did it in a hotel. It was kind of like a modern family episode, which I think is is what started the conversation that's funny but anyway i did something like that it was so much fun and like i think people should like a wig some glasses a different outfit yeah like, it, i'd it be just, down it especially creates, in vegas yeah. Yeah. it creates a mystique so someone you've known for say a decade all of a sudden is like there's a little air of mystery about them yeah that's that's yeah. i think that'd be really fun like yeah, fun. i i'm at a bar and then like you come up to me or whatever and i'm just like I don't know, I'm waiting for someone and they're like, <laughs> and he's like, who? And then you get like, like as if we've never met before. And then I credit card her butt. I think a, uh, a wig would do well. Why do you guys turn it into a joke? I'm you trying to get more sexy with you. You take a martini on. Never mind. Never mind. I'll try it with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like you in wigs. We found out she has a blonde wig lately and I'm like, oh yeah. You'd think it wouldn't look I, good. I'm not going to lie. That's, great. that's one of mine too. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Especially colored ones. I didn't ones, think I would like, like it. Blue, red, pink. I like the blue one too. I like pink. Yeah, yeah. like cool. Natalie Portman and yeah. closer. Yeah, like blue, like not the blue-haired people that we often see all the time. But I'm talking about like the, like a spy so, so, chick. So you're into Smurfs? That's what you're saying? No, no, no. Like you're into like spy the oh, yeah, cartoon yeah. spies, yeah. like yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. those like cartoon. Yeah. I forget what they're called. The yeah, yeah. it's in my head as a spy Kim, thing. Kim Possible when type of wig. Yeah, Kim Possible yeah. type of spy. Not dyed blue hair. What about cosplay? No. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. I didn't think I would be into it, but like. Uh, having seen some stuff from like Comic Con stuff that I, I've been to a couple times, I like, covered it for some publications. Like I'm like, I get this now. Mm. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't have a super attraction any specific characters, but I think just in general. Yeah. Again, it's that. It's that I'm different. Yeah. One I am favorite something new. Nights 
that Nikki ever planned for me was um, I hadn't seen her in a couple of days because she was away. And then when she came home, she like she got me like this little thing of, of uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label, which I had never had before, and it was very good. And then she like dressed up in this fucking ridiculously hot outfit, and like we had sex, and it was like that was like a, an all time. I think um, in this house, I I was like you were downstairs, and I was like, "Hey, honey, can you help me clean?" And he comes upstairs, and I was in like that a French maid, yeah, 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 sweet. And he was like, because he comes up, he's like, Ugh, like basically, like, yeah, oh, like, she's gonna make me clean there. or whatever. And then I'm like, yeah, I just need to have some help cleaning over here. And then he's Nikki, like, oh, s- stop right now because I saw Clue in the theater as a child. Oh, yeah. that was and insane. that had a vast effect. I mean, that has yeah. See, oh, I always French, like the French, French maid. maid. I always yeah. like the French maid because of that same movie. Yeah, Oof. yeah. Thank you. You definitely liked that, and you're like do this again and I never did but yeah. <laughs> but it was okay. only two That's years okay. ago That's it was okay. like two years ago That's I still okay. had time yeah, yeah. Plenty of time. there's plenty of anniversaries plenty of coming characters. up yeah. Yeah. birthdays yeah. Yeah. I really like the bar one though like bar one's good we'll do yeah, the bar one. being I because we've never done it and I don't know if I could take you seriously but like we'll see like if it's if you're a good actor also with your improv background yeah dude, that on, could be That's what I'm saying dude. like if we amazing. committed we, we would no. have to commit oh yeah like we have to agree to commit to it not to commit no bits a no bit moratorium yeah yeah agreed oh yeah, that'd be hot. Maybe I, th- hot. I think well, that's a vlog. <laughs> right? <laughs> See? I agree. You just want to watch our fucking yeah, foreplay. Because okay. he watches us so often anyway. He's, we're definitely part of his <laughs> he lives thing. lives vicariously <laughs> through we're our marriage. Part of his thing. 285 Sorry, episodes? Come on. We didn't yeah. touch on my, my thing, is, it's podcast hosts. Yeah. 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 Especially <laughs> married podcast yeah. hosts. That's, that's my jam. We know. That's my jam. But specifically, he zooms into our armpits while he's editing. <laughs> 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 and he changes it back to normal right before <laughs> it goes out to us. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing if I just like a <laughs> screenshot, just a pixelated arm. Like, like if you forgot to editing, change it back, done, guys. Yeah. Like, Mark, what the hell? <laughs> Why is this frame just armpit? <laughs> oh no, I was just doing some color correction. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the thing is, Mark, we would believe him. Be like, it's oh, like you're probably, colorblind, Mark. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, yeah. thanks for being here, yeah, Mark. Thanks, We've been Mark. trying to get amazing. him on the show forever. Finally. Five and a half years, man. Crazy. Well, we appreciate you. Yeah. And we appreciate your, your sexy debut. He is the best in the business. This Aww. guy, we love this guy. Yeah. He is the best. Yeah. He is the backbone of the show. We love him. Absolutely. So much, so. And he gets us really fancy Amazon gifts like the the uh, plugs on our cameras yes. right now, so that we don't have to use batteries. Lifesaver. Yeah. Like he's our podcast daddy. Yes. And 100%. I don't know how to tell you guys because you already love them, but they're the best. Aw, you just doubt. said that because you had to. No, I, I've worked with a lot of people, <laughs> and I actually I'm lucky. I like a few of them, but you got you guys are my favorites. Hey, like, ditto, brother, ditto. Mark, no, it's one Mark, of those. Leave things. that in, Mark. Leave that in. Don't edit that. No, Mark, it's one Mark, of the, Mark, it is, Mark, that's gonna be the end of your career. Just edit that out. <laughs> it is one of those things though, where you do meet a lot of people in this business. Yeah. And like, I don't know that we've met anyone that we've known like like and like consistently been yeah. in contact with like and you. then invited to our house yeah, never you know, no, not really like, not, not really no like other than Mark and like the JK crew like it's not but the JK crew was like YouTubers which I feel like yeah, they, we've thing. done before but yeah. like I've never like business wise no like never. we felt connected with, with a normie like, a normie yeah. like me yeah. <laughs> yeah you're definitely a normie a civilian yeah we're like yeah. this civilian's actually pretty, pretty <laughs> he's cool the best. like he's pretty chill like he's you can best. like train him to be like kind of like us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, thanks That's so it. much right. for being here, Mark. Um, we won't ask them where to find you because you don't exist. You're yeah. a mythological an creature. Idea. Mythical. So um, just, you know, come back next week and know that Mark is behind the editing and looking at our armpits the entire and time. And if someone from Studio 71 is listening to this, you guys got a gem on your hands. <laughs> if someone from Studio 71 is listening to this, he's not here right now. Yeah, That's I don't know what you're talking about. He's yeah. not here. That's yeah. All right. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye.